Let's look at the global picture now. The total cases reported so far are over 250,000 and total deaths globally has crossed 10,000. Italy has surpassed China in terms of the number of uh, corona deaths. Italy has reported 3,405 deaths and China has seen 3,248 deaths. So Italy has surpassed China in terms of the number of corona deaths. Let's uh, in fact go across to Eric Lyman, uh, a journalist who is joining me from Rome via Skype. Eric, thanks very much uh, for speaking with us. What is the latest situation in Italy and how is the nation coping with this crisis? Well, the big milestone, as you mentioned, was yesterday when uh, the death toll in Italy f formally surpassed that of China. But I think that it, over the last week, the average Italian has started to take this much more seriously. I think that there may have been a time early on where uh, it, it was seen as something that would, was a momentary inconvenience. I don't think anybody thinks that anymore. Uh, uh, Eric, tell us, uh, where do you think that the Italian authorities went wrong in containing this virus? Well, there are many theories about it. That's a very good question. Uh, I think that uh, part of it is that they may not have taken it so seriously at the beginning. There are some reports in the local media that uh, that the first few patients, uh, you know, may have been assumed to have uh, just a normal influenza. And, uh, and in this kind of a situation where there's exponential growth, I think it's very easy to uh, assume uh, to, to, to calculate that, uh, that every day that goes by without serious action, uh, things can become many, many times worse. And so I think that Italy may have had a slow start. But since then, there are other problems. You know, the average population in Italy is much older than that of the world. Uh, the average Italian is 10 years older than the average person in China or the U.S., for example. And so uh, that is a factor because the, the virus is much more uh, aggressive with elderly people. Uh, Eric, uh, we've seen that China has now plateaued. China has not reported any rise in the number of domestic cases today. How long before the authorities there in Italy think that they can reach that stage? Or they are still battling the virus and battling to contain the virus right now? Well, the, Italy went into a nationwide lockdown on uh, March 9th. And then on the 12th, they really tightened it. So at the beginning, restaurants and coffee bars and things like that were open for 12 hours a day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right. And on the 12th, they closed them completely. Uh, and so the thinking is that it will take at least uh, 14 days, which is the incubation period, for the, that strict lockdown to start to have an effect. I spoke to a virologist today that said that the government is looking at February 20, I mean, I'm sorry, March 28th as, a, uh, as the day where we should see peak infections in Italy. So we have our fingers crossed and hoping that that's the case. Uh, uh, Eric, one final question to you. How crucial do you think the role of media is in such a crisis? Well, I, I think now that where there's so many more uh, ways to get information, you know, using social media and things like this, the role of uh, an established uh, gatekeeper kind of traditional media, uh, like, like the job that you're doing and the job that I do, I think it's essential because it's a way to inform people and, and, and to prevent the spread of inaccurate information. I think there's so much that's going around on social media that's not correct that, uh, that I think uh, it's, it's more, important than, more important than ever that traditional media can do its role. One final question, Eric, before we let you go. Uh, what sure. uh, has the impact on the Italian economy been of coronavirus? It's, uh, it's devastating. Uh, uh, Italy's economy was already uh, on, uh, growing very slowly. It had, it had grown less than the European Union in 13 of the la last 14 years, up to 2019. And it was expected to grow only about half a percent this year. Now all bets are off. It may shrink 10%. It may, the, the Italian economy may end 2020 smaller than it was in 2000, which would be an astonishing uh, development if it happens. Eric Lyman, thanks very much for speaking with My us. Pleasure.